Okay, so what we have here is our new glider systems, mini deck uh, Conestoga system. So I want to do a quick training video on how to operate it. Very simple system, uh, but you got to know how it works to operate. So very similar to other Conestogas, first thing you do is take these bungee straps off uh, and then peel back the Velcro. Very new Velcro, so it is tight. Do your best to get that loose, and then we'll do the other side. Okay, okay feel this one back. Okay, now this adjuster here, I've removed it from the trailer. It's typically uh, right up inside. So, you want to put this inside of the uh, square tubing. Crank it up. Just like that. You can let this hang. Okay, so the back's up now. What you want to work on is these adjusters. This is the real catalyst to the uh, trailer. Held it with the bungee cord. This has here a cable. This is your adjuster. You come in on this side right here. You can see there's a little tab. So you're going to go the opposite of the tab. It collects up on this aluminum piece, and that's how you get your tension. So being that we want the tab to go up, we're going to kind of turn it clockwise. This will untension the trailer. You have to do this if you're going to do the rear or the front. So you turn it all the way to that tab clips up, and it stays there. And then you can put, put this back in the top. And then we'll do the other side. Same thing, bungee cord. Pull it out. You can actually put the bungee cord back in the slot too, so it doesn't interfere. Now this one, you're going to go up. So this one is also going to go. So I'm sorry, that one's clockwise. This one's counterclockwise. And you keep turning until that little orange uh, tap flips up. That, you want to keep going to put a little bit of pressure on there because if it falls, you'll have problems. This one won't get enough pressure on. Just turn it a little bit more. We'll see how that works. Okay. The trailer is now loose. Take this one off, put it back in its holder. Okay, now that we have the trailer. Untension. We're just going to lock this up. You want to make sure that these wheels here lock in to the bar. There's a little latch with this blue um, right here. You want to make sure that that gets in that latch. Nope. The other side didn't latch. We'll go ahead and make sure that one gets latched also. Otherwise, there's potential to fall. Here's the latch. Good to go. So. Now you can open it all the way up. So just lock it up. Make sure you're locking it. The flaps go to the outside. Lock it all the way to the front. And then in here, there's little kick tabs. So if you're on a hill, it doesn't roll. Locks in real nice. It'll keep both sides going. So to close it up, you do the opposite. You just take this tab off, make sure it's flipped all the way over, and you walk it back. Now this thing is very operable with one person. These should line right up and fall right into place. As long as your tabs are up, it's gonna fall right into the track. Like so. Now to get the rear to release, there's this blue cable here. You just pull up, that side release, this side release. One's fall too. And right there. So at this point, you can retension it. Okay, for the second part, we're going to show you how to undo the Conestoga from the front. So from the rear, we already showed you how to untension it. So it has to be untensioned to do this. So we have ours off. This can be done from the inside or the outside. We're going to show you first how to do it from the outside. So you flip this open right here on this driver's side trigger well. There's this little wrench. So we're going to put it in, and you go down, this 
this side's loose. I'm going to go to the other side and do the other side, and then I'll come back. Okay, half this side's loose. Now we're going to push it forward. Just like the rear, there's that bar. You want to make sure that bar engages with the lock. So you have to hold it here so it doesn't go. Uh, we almost got it. Let me take that side. So locked in. See how that's locked? Now we can push it all open. We're just going to lock it back just like we did with the back. If during uh, transport it loosens up or the contour of the trailer due to the load changes, 916 wrench you just knock open a loose nut or the uh, lock nut, spin it down, put it where you need, tighten it back up. So that's this. Now this thing, be very careful, it's 12 too high. Four bars, double squares, a lot of suspension in here, a lot of support. So, uh, And then this can also be done from the inside. So what I'm going to do is grab a ladder, I'll show you how to hook it up from the inside. So, we're going to put this here, and then I'll move it. So we're going to flip the, kick, flip the locks up, and we're going to walk this. Watch yourself, maybe you can stay in here. Again, this should walk, this should ride right up onto the, the deck, like so. And then same same idea as the back, you can pull this up. Oh, you know what there is? I'll show you on the outside. On the outside there's a pole that will get both of them. But since we're doing it from the inside, it's just you can unlock this one first, and then just step over here, unlock that, pull it up here. And so right here is the lock. So you have it where you can move it forward and then um, right down here is the bar. You can unlock it or lock it from here. That bar. And then you're gonna just push it up. Make sure I'm lined up. So I'm going to engage it one more time. Now you're tight. Same thing. If you were in here empty, all you would do is you'd have it like this. You would take this bar, stick it in here. There's some holes. Pop it up there. Pop it up there. And then you want to lock it up once you get there. So that side's locked up. Close it up and I'll show you that outside um, pole and then we'll show you how to tension it up. One of the, the most important things. Okay, as promised, uh, if you're on the outside closing it, what you want to do is there's this little blue cable up in here. You pull this and it will open both sides of the latch. So let me grab my handle here, just like we unlatched it. Slide it up. We're going to go up this time. So, two clicks, and I'm going to do the other side. Close that to keep dirt and debris out. Okay. And this side, you're going to go.
close for dirt and debris. Stick this back in the driver's side fender well so we don't forget it. Right here. Okay, now we'll show you how to tension it up. So, so as mentioned, uh, the back has to be detensioned in order to unlock the front or the rear. So what we do, you have the tensioners again, everything is good. You give it a little tug and you flip the little orange, orange tab down, it catches on that. And then you do the same on this side. Sometimes it can't be tight. Flip it down. Now, take the tensioner. Now this thing is designed to break before you break the trailer. That's what these little uh, indentions are. So I'm gonna put this back up so it stays out of my way. And Jimmy, if you want to stand over here, you can see the trailer actually tension. And what I'll do is counterclockwise tight against everything. So you can watch the whole thing start to tighten up when it gets pretty close. You know, there's still a wrinkle at the very front. You'll see that start pulling in here. There it goes. Nice. So you notice this tightens up. So then you go ahead, grab the other side. Put it on, still behind the little aluminum, and then you just crank it up. Same thing. The beauty of this system is it should stay tight whether it's unloaded or unloaded with camber, no camber. That is the beauty of this uh, on the back. Like I said, you can feel when the tension gets tight. So there it goes tight. I just felt the tension get tight. So call that. Put that back. Clamp this in. I'm going to double check this side just to make sure. And I can get a couple turns. And just tension up a lot. So there when you get close, you want to look for that. So that's down. The trailer's tight, front, back. And then we'll come down to the side. Like I said, this thing here, we store it right here. Square end in, pop it, and there's a hook halfway up. But you go ahead, pull this off. Like any other one of those, let's come down. All the way down. Make sure this is tight. On this side, flip this over and this over. Do the other side. Make sure there's no wrinkles in it. They keep it taut. Flip it there, flip it there, and then the four. Four Bundy straps, and you're good to go. So that's the basic operation of this Glider Systems Mini Deck Conestoga that we've put in our fleet to satisfy our customers. So if you have any questions, give us a call.